Hello everyone, we will continue the topic classical report events and in the previous video we started with end of page event and we have written the logic as a part of end of page event and we are printing the page number at the end of every page and we have given 10 bracket 2. It means two lines out of 10 are reserved for end of page event. Now what we will do? Same practice. I will run the program. I will show the output to you. Then we will understand the output in the debugging mode. How that output came. Now I will run the program first. I will go for execute and you can see we have the output end of page number is also coming and it is coming through which event end of page event. Now what we will do now I will open the program in a new session. I will put the breakpoints and we will understand fully and most most important understandings. I will go to the transaction code SC38. I will put a breakpoint in the initialization event, add selection screen, start of selection, end of selection, top of page and end of page. Total number of lines 10 on a page, two are reserved for end of page. I'm running the program. So firstly, my selection screen has not come before that which event called initialization. It will assign the default values. This logic will assign default values to order date and we have the default values to order date. Now, I will click on to this execute button. Firstly, add selection screen event will call. It will validate the input. Anyways, we have not given the payment mode. So this if condition is false. And anyways, there is no error. If our input is correct, it will go to which event now? Start of selection. I'm doing F6. Now we have 10 records in the internal table. Now we need to display this 10 records. So this loop will continue how many times? 10 times. I'm going inside the loop. You can see first record side tapix is 1. Now I will show you the output out output in the parallel session. As of now, we are on first page. We all know on every page, two lines SAP reserve automatically. What are those two lines? First one is the title of the program which you gave. Then we have underline. So two lines are on the page. Now we have the first write statement on a page. On this first page, we have the first write statement. Whenever we have the first write statement, first write statement, first write statement. So data will not print first. Firstly, it will go to which event top of page because top of page should be before the data. Yes, it should be before the data. So it will not write the data. Firstly, the control directly come on to which event top of page. We have the first write statement. Now you can see we are printing the page number. Yes, page number done. So third line done for the page, for the first page. We are writing the column labels done. Now, have you seen? Now the control again went into this loop and side tabix is one because first record has not printed yet. 
firstly it printed but we gave as a part of top of page as a part of top of page we gave how many lines two lines two were already there two or now came two plus two four now okay now still we have a space of six lines now now it will print the first record done side tab expand so it printed the this particular record so five lines done on the page now it will go to next record side tab x2 now we have the sixth line on the page having order number 2 done now loop will go for third record third record but total how many lines on the page now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this is seventh line of the page done now we have the next what is side tab x now for fourth record and which particular record which particular line has been read on the page eighth eighth now total lines on the page is what 10 and you told that what the logic we have written out of 10 2 is reserved for end of page 2 is reserved for end of page it means we have a space of how much left now eight lines total will be 10 lines that is true that is extremely true but you are saying out of 10 2 you two should be occupied by end of page event so we have done with eight lines eight lines now after that two lines will be occupied by what end of page now you can see we have the side tab x5 we have the side tab x5 we have the fifth record but it will not write the fifth record yes we have the last write statement we have the last write statement so control will automatically go to which particular event now end of page end of page this is extremely extremely important point now you can see control directly went on to what end of page it printed this particular statement end of page number 1 end of page number 1 done done end of page number now the most most important point you reserved how many lines for end of page even two but as a part of end of page we have written how many write statement only one have you seen one blank space is also coming why that blank space is coming because we are saying two lines are reserved for end of page and we are only gave the code of one line so one blank line is coming automatically full explanation and our first page is done and the most most important part is we gave 10 bracket 2 so it means after going for eight lines of data it is going to end of page because we reserved two for end of page now we will go for understanding of next page now next page now now we have or now we are on this this and what is the record currently going on fifth record now now on the next page also two lines are reserved yes out of those 10 lines two are reserved now now on the next page we have the first write statement so it will not print the fifth number record it will not print the fifth number record if you see it will not print the fifth number record firstly control will go to which particular event top of page because on the new page we have the first write statement so it will not write this order number 5 firstly it will print these two lines now you can see control went directly on to which event top of page so it will firstly write the page number now what is the page number now 2 so third line done you can see third line done 
now we are going for fourth line column label now we are going for fourth line column label so on the second page how many lines done four lines done now we have a space of how much left six lines now it is printing now the order number five now the side tab is five fifth record done fifth record done now we have the sixth record you can see side tab is six sixth record sixth line now we have the seventh and now we have the eighth so we have done up to this level up to this level now whenever i will go to next statement now you can see side tapix is nine but it will not print on this page it will not print on this page because you told out of 10 to our reserve for end of page so it means after eighth number line it will directly come on to which event end of page because we reserve out of 10 lines to our reserve for end of page now it will directly go to which particular event end of page now it is printing end of page it gave page number two and now we have a blank space also because we reserve two lines for end of page now we are on third page now third page on the third page two lines are reserved now for the third page we have the first write statement so it will not write the we will not write the side tabix nine it will not write the record number nine firstly it will go to which event top of page we have top of page so firstly it will print the page number we have the page number three lines done we have the column labels fourth line done now it will print the ninth number record of the internal table so yes this one done now we have the next what is side tab is 10 10th number record of the internal table and total it is sixth record on this page one two three four five six now all records has been read all records has been ended so control will not go anywhere control will directly come on to which event end of selection because our data has been ended now you can see i'm directly on which particular event end of selection now you can see it's done so now this is most most important understanding in terms of debugging and i clearly told you yes writing the logic in events is not important if flow is not clear yes we will not get the expected output so yes the picture should be clear in mind how that event is triggering for every page how that event is triggering at the end of every page so what is the summary of the video in this video we understood the full flow in the debugging mode for which event end of page event so that's it in this video thank you